In Dharamsala also you can rent a room very cheaply. Also mud house, you know. But I did not really enjoy that much. Like in Rishike. Maybe the ambience, you know. The atmosphere, you no? Know? Everybody would when they have to be vegan, they had no choice. <laughs> what for you go there promoting veganism? They had no choice. There are lots of vegetarians also there, so... There are a lot of what? Vegetarians. Mm -hmm. And we went there to do relief work. Oh. So that's... Oh, by the way, uh, okay. over there they don't sell eggs, they don't sell alcohol, but maybe some milk or not. Oh, that I did not know, I did not drink. But I like that place so much, I don't know why. It just felt so good. <laughs> felt good inside, you know. I went in uh, daytime, I went to meditate, you know, on the Ganges or on the bank of the Ganges. Nighttime, I come back, make my own chapati over the wood fire, you know, with three rocks and the plate, small like that. I have only one plate, I use it for everything. I can cook chapati on it, you know, I make my own chapati. Not this kind of plate, it's metal. Mm. About, about this small, no? and very thin, easy to carry. I put, make chapati, very easy. <laughs> the wood you could collect from a forest, you know, next to my house. And then just a few tweaks, not enough to cook me about well, three chapati, peanut butter and cucumber or oh, tomato. Mm. Felt good. Mmm, <laughs> that was very good. Not so good, it was really good. Mm. <laughs> I still remember that feeling, you know. So contented, mm. felt at home. <laughs> yeah, nobody bother you. Some Westerner they came also for the same purpose. You know, they didn't talk a lot. They didn't try to bury bury you. They didn't try to make a boyfriend girlfriend out of you. Nothing. Sometimes they brought their own girlfriend anyway. So I was feeling very very free over there. Yeah and very little money left. I couldn't live there, you know. I like it so much. I really compare that life to this life. I'd rather eat less samosa and stay there. <laughs> eat a lot, you know. It's a lot of responsibility nowadays. Not the same, no? Nah? Here is different, of course. But if I have a choice, I go back there and live there and again at my age. <laughs> With the umbrella going down. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> Get me a horse, please. <laughs> That's the best place that I, I can remember. I live in some ashram, but I don't remember. I don't want to go back, but I want to go back there. That's the only place in India that I would like to go back to visit or to live, you know, to live there. Alone, eh? Not with you, eh? <laughs> Don't think about it. <laughs> if I take all of you up there, then I will forget that place immediately after. <laughs> I would just say, okay, beautiful place. Have a nice day. <laughs> say you know. It's good also, it will cure me of the longing for that place, you know. I would never remember again. <laughs> oh, yeah, now talking about, about it, I really like that place. But um, it's a long way from Delhi, you know. Nine hours, yeah. And maybe you have to change buses, it doesn't go direct. Yes, as you have to change. Mm -hmm. You have to change buses, you no? Know? And the buses is made from Qing Dynasty or something. <laughs> Be careful, your back, your bum. And if you think riding horse cart is romantic, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the horse, he does his business right in front of your nose, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> and they even save it. Oh, your journey, they don't just let it drop on the street. You've got to save it because it's fuel, man. It's, it's fertilizer, it's fuel, it's whatever they can use. It's in the wall, they, they 
party on the wall to make the wall. So it's warm and the insects don't go near. The cow dung, horse dung, or whatever dung is all dust. <laughs> it's all very valuable in the Himalaya, especially they can use it for fuel, you know, cooking. Yeah, and then they put it on the wall. Yeah, make it make it like cement. So so they save it. It's not like okay, poop and it's done and then you have fresh air, no. <laughs> it continues your whole journey wherever you go. It's not as romantic as you, it look telling you. <laughs> what mean my God? <laughs> That's the way they live, huh? They don't have taxi there. I didn't see any. Maybe in the towers, I didn't see. Either you do that, or you take the number 11 bus. <laughs> I often need it. Yeah. I don't know here, I don't feel like walking, but over there I walk all the time. And it felt like nothing. Maybe because I had no choice. I didn't have a lot of money. <laughs> Over there walking, it's like a pleasure, you know? I remember that. Felt like you walk, but you don't really walk. Your feet don't drag at all. Felt very light. And, and then uh, the fresh air, you know? Not a lot of cars. The Rishikas, especially where I live, that area, no cars. Horse. Yes. Well, at least I lived once, one time in the Himalayas. I feel very lucky already. That place is most beautiful. Nothing really. I don't know, I just feel beautiful. Just you feel beautiful inside, I guess, because there's nothing really. The Ganges you can have everywhere. Not just that mountain. <laughs> nothing new in, in India, in the Himalaya. I just felt good there. Felt so free, so free and so light, light-hearted. Go home and sleep on the roof, you know, make a chapati. Go to the Ganges, take a bath, and put your clothes on the on the rock, hard rock, man, and wrap yourself with a sarong, and then wait in the cave somewhere. Uh, whenever you finish meditation, you go out, you get your clothes, put it on, da da da, go home, mm, happy, happy, and then make a chapati, mm, cook a little tea or chai, something, and then go to the roof, <laughs> meditate. Ah, oh, wonderful life. Eh? Mm. I was very skinny then, because I didn't have a lot of food, just that. Staple food every day. You buy a small bag of flour, you mix it with water, a little salt. Mm -hmm. You make it into dough, rau, or oh, not rau, who cares? <laughs> and I put it on, on the fire, you know, you warm yourself meanwhile, and then a few minutes, it's done, huh? You put peanut butter on it, or whatever, I don't know. What else? <laughs> Mostly peanut butter, because I heard it's very nutritious, you know. So it's a very economical. And then with the cucumber, huh? It's hot and the cucumber is cool, you know, so um, yum, yum, yum. Then after that, uh, you just go up to the roof and up <laughs> to the higher level. Wow, that was a good life, huh? Don't you think it's good? Sounds very good. Sounds good. Yes, sir. I don't know if you can live like that. Sometimes when I was growing up, we used to go to those places and live like that. You did? Yes, sir. Not, not like that much, but yes, in the mountains and just doing nothing, just meditating oh. or just roaming around. Yeah. That place is so free. There's some Westerners who come there and live, but they didn't care about cooking. On the fire, they go out to a restaurant and eat, you know. I couldn't afford it. <laughs> Even restaurants are cheap. I love that place, really. I don't know why, it just... I felt so good, you yeah? know? Come home, right in front of my house, it was an uh, empty space, you know? Just, just dirt, nothing. I, um, I put a three stone there and uh, put some a little fire, cook my tea, mm -hmm. chapati, yeah. I felt so free. Oh, man, and now I'm very free. Free to grab, <laughs> for everybody to grab. Mm. Would you like to live like that? Hmm? Hello? Yes. No. After pushing it. <laughs> yes, no. Okay, now. <laughs>
Even though we live in caves, we have light, electricity, and food delivered to our mouth. Already one or two of your brothers think we are too ascetic. If you live like that, only a couple of chapati a day, you like? You would? I'm sure you would. Yes. You know, I think you would like it, maybe one week. <laughs> Holiday. <laughs> Namsago, can you predict how long they last? <laughs> hmm? You think they'll last long? <laughs> mm. If you like lonely life, and if you are very much inside, then you don't feel anything that pull you back to this life. I didn't want to go, I don't know why I did. Hmm. Maybe no more money. Telling you about all this, I really miss that place. Not the place, I don't know, miss the lifestyle that I had. When I live in the Ramsala, I also cook for myself, of course. But I don't know, it's not the same. Over there, I cook too complicated. I bought pot and pan, huh? cheap ones. And then I cook rice. And I went hunting for this uh, soya texture, and I cooked, remembering how we eat in China and all that, and in Taiwan. But it didn't taste good at all. Didn't have anything, just salt. <laughs> so I thought I would like it. I imagine, you know, uh, it didn't taste good. So I bought the champa, this uh, barley flour, and it tasted better. You are in Tibetan community. Maybe you are influenced by the atmosphere of the people there. So, champa tastes good. Champa, you know? You um, buy this uh, barley flour and you mix it with water, that's it? A little salt? <laughs> it tastes good, yeah. Or you put it in your tea, you no? Know? Or you buy um, bread, you know? Also, barley bread. They don't have the bread we have here. The Tibetan community it tastes also very good. I didn't eat a lot, though. I remember I didn't eat a lot. So when I came down to the plane, it was very skinny. Okay, guys. Say your nara. Thank you for your company. Cheers. <laughs> Love you, guys. Thanks for your company. Okay, I must go now and do my job, other job. Mm. Thank you. Sunday is a good break, huh? Yes, yes. Not bad. Uh, you guys don't complain, okay? We all have our destiny and our special place to stay. Sometimes forcing the issue causes uh, friction, okay? Friction in the energy, yeah, and in peace, community peace. Ngon ha, ăn được ha. Không giống Việt Nam nhưng mà ăn cũng được ha. Sư phụ ăn cũng quen rồi. Mới hồi mới ra ngoài nước thì còn nhớ, bây giờ hết nhớ. Không, không nhớ cái gì nữa <cười> Chào nhé ừ. Mãi giỏi Hãy 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 Hãy